Hey what's up guys it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 5 of Scaling to Glory and yes this is indeed the second episode of today. I asked for a thousand likes on episode 4 and you guys absolutely smashed it so I'd like to thank you guys very much for that. If we could do the same on this video that would be absolutely amazing and very much appreciated. So we're going to start today's episode off by going into the Silver Clash tournament with our new side and uh, we come up against a Silver Barclays Premier League team with upgraded Januzai in his squad as well and we start off in the 13th minute with Ari's on the ball with some skill moves we try the shot from outside the box but he just goes over the goal then a couple minutes after that we pick up the ball there with Riascos a lovely turn he gets the ball back we go 1-1 versus the goalkeeper we go with a cheeky little chip shot over the goalkeeper and we make it 1-0 lovely goal there by Riascos and the goalkeeper is completely clueless then in the 24th minute we pick the ball up here with uh, with Quintero we try the shot but he unfortunately hit the crossbar then a uh, 38th minute a lovely flick up there by Quintero we pass it off to, uh, to Riascos his goalkeeper is coming out and once again we go with the chip shot and we only have to score one more chip shot in order to complete our first challenge which is uh, pretty cool but uh, in the 45th minute we go on a run here with Riascos and we get past a couple defenders and we shoot it in into the back of the net with his weak foot as you can see a lovely goal there by Riascos to make it 3-0 just before half time and that meant it was pretty much game over because my opponent didn't really create anything special during the game and the 47th minute we unlock our first challenge as you can see score 3 chip goals and that's what we did we scored the last one with Reina to make it 4-0 and from a free kick my opponent does get a goal back though with Butner he makes it uh, he makes it 4-1 and actually gets another goal which is uh, pretty pretty nice actually especially the the kind of turns he did with Zaha but in the end he just crossed it in yeah, and he makes it 4-2 uh, in the 78th minute we pick it up here with uh, Arizala we go with a rainbow flick we don't really skill anyone but we do get lucky in the very end where we kind of get the ball on our chest and yeah we shoot it in and we make it actually 5-2 in the very end and as you can see we pick up a hat-trick with Riascos he is such an awesome player in ultimate team pixel also the uh, man of the match a 9.7 rating which was more than deserved and as you can see from the stats we had 16 shots on target and uh, we had uh, 21 normal shots I do believe so yeah we pretty much dominated that game so moving on we, uh, we applied a couple contracts to some of our players, Baloy and also Rodriguez were out of them. So yeah, after we'd done that, we were ready to go to play the quarterfinals. And we come up against this team, Rangers FC, Glasgow Rangers or whatever you can call them these days. I think they actually got their championship, I think, in the Scottish League. Not really sure, but I think they did. I think they, uh, they, uh, they won it, so yeah congrats to them but um yeah we get there we got the first goal here with Arizala a nice flick to get past one defender and we shoot it into the back of that to make it 1-0 then in the 12th minute we get the ball with Quintero once again Arizala he flicks it up and he shoots it into the bottom left hand corner to make it 2-0 a lovely long shot and again we complete a challenge as you can see score a long shot and that means that we complete the two challenges already in the in the past two games that we did play in this episode which is pretty nice so moving on we get the ball here with Quintero and as you can see the game was kind of like we couldn't start with a burrow spin and we shoot it into the far corner to make it 3-0 then moving it into the second half I was hoping to get a bicycle kick or something like that but in the end it just ended up being a silly header then in the 73rd minute I make a major mistake with my goalkeeper I want to throw it to one of my defenders who was kind of near my goalkeeper but unfortunately he picks it up with a striker he's just my goalkeeper and he makes it 4-1 but it wouldn't really matter in the very end because we won the game and as you can see uh, man of the match is there for Quintero and the game was quite even in the very end he did get a couple chances but not really many major ones so uh, moving on once again we apply the squad fitness card to our team because most of the players were kind of low in fitness so after we done it we moved on into the semi-finals we can't begin this team a bit of a skill team with uh, McKay Steve and also Marias in his squad so I was hoping that he kind of also pulled off some skill moves would have been sweet but he unfortunately didn't really pull off that many skill moves instead he did a bit of one-two passing and actually gets the first goal in uh, yeah within like two minutes and he gets another goal again with the one-two passing it is this time Marias to makes it 2-0 so within 10 minutes we're 2-0 down we weren't looking very good but in the 17th minute we pick it up here with Arizala a fake shot to get past one defender and we shoot it in and we make it 2-1 to get us a goal back and then just before half time look at that for a goal by Reina absolutely awesome lovely skill run and he shoots it into the far corner too to make it 2-2 and get us back into the game and then just before half time as well again Reina but we do hit the post unfortunately we could have taken the lead there but unfortunately it doesn't go in then uh, into the second half we get the ball in with Quintero a fake shot stop to uh, Riascos we go with the chip shot and we do beat the goalkeeper and we make it 3-2 so we do take the lead in this game then in the 65th minute we get the ball in with the uh, 
uh, with Rodriguez we pass it off to Reyna and then we go on a bit of a run a lovely Berber switch to get past one defender then we go with some barrels a fake shot we lose the ball in the end but we do get it back again with some fake shot getting past a couple defenders we try to finish it but it just goes over the goal could have been a sweet goal to score there with Reyna then in the 75th minute we break through here with Arizala we go one on one versus the goalkeeper we go with the ball while drag back to create some space and we shoot it in with his weak foot and now uh, we make it 4-2 and that was pretty much game over because my opponent didn't really create that many chances in the second half so we won that game 4-2 and then this happened we got kicked out of ultimate team for some weird reason I didn't lose connection or anything like that but for some reason we got kicked out of it and it was actually after the game but it still was during the game for some reason so we got a loss for that game which absolutely sucks because we also get kicked out of the tournament so we can't play the final Oh my god, I just couldn't believe it at the time. So um, yeah, we applied a couple contracts to some players and we went in straight into another game because yeah, that's the only thing we pretty much could do. So we go into an online single match and we come up against this team. Only 45 chemistry. Not exactly the best squad to come up against, but yeah, it was just an uh, easy team, I guess. But yeah, we started here with Arizala with a long shot. We do make it 1-0. As you can see, with a long shot trade, he's absolutely amazing with his uh, with his shot. He's really, really good. Uh, then in the 45th minute, once again, we go with the Rabona cross because that is also a challenge that we do have to complete. Unfortunately, it doesn't go in straight away because then we also would have completed that challenge as well. But unfortunately, it doesn't go in straight away. Goes in on the rebound, so it's not really in Rabona assist. But moving on into the second half, we almost scored an awesome bicycle kick there with Riascos, but unfortunately, it just doesn't go in. That is also a challenge, by the way. So we just keep on trying to cross the ball and hoping to get a bicycle kick in but unfortunately it just end up being headers as you can see here again Rios goes with the header to make it 4-0 then in the 70th minute we pick up a corner we get a header in his goalkeeper saves it and then straight after that my opponent decided to rage quit and as you can see from the match stats he had zero shots on target so he wasn't really playing that well and he also didn't really have the best team but anyway we're gonna move on to the challenges right now and as you can see we already completed two of the five challenges and hopefully we can uh, we can complete the three remaining ones in the next episode but yeah guys that is pretty much it hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to hit the like button would be very much appreciated and as always if we can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye